Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two blue squares uh, along with this uh, yellow triangles uh, put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the combined area of these uh, blue squares is uh, 832 centimeter square and this uh, horizontal uh, length uh, is uh, 40 centimeter and moreover this uh, angle uh, in this uh, yellow triangle is uh, 60 degrees and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's go ahead and focus uh, on this uh, smaller square let's assume that it's a uh, side length uh, is uh, x uh, centimeter since we are dealing with the square so that means all uh, these uh, sides are going to be x uh, centimeter as well and now let's make an observation we know this whole uh, length uh, is uh, 40 and this uh, length uh, is uh, x so therefore this uh, side length uh, of the larger square is going to be 40 minus uh, x so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, turns out to be 40 minus x and since we are dealing uh, with this uh, square so no wonder all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are going to be 40 minus x uh, across the board and here's our next step let's recall the area of a square formula area equals to s uh, square where s represents the side length uh, of the square so therefore for this uh, smaller square the area for this uh, square is going to be x uh, square since the side length uh, is x and likewise uh, the area of this uh, larger square is going to become uh, 40 minus uh, x uh, whole uh, square since its side length uh, is uh, 40 minus x and now let's make an observation we can see that the combined uh, area for both of these uh, squares uh, is 832 and we also know that uh, the combined area of these uh, two squares is going to be x square plus uh, 40 minus uh, x square as well so therefore let me go ahead and equate them i can write uh, x square plus uh, x 40 minus x rather whole uh, square equals to 832 and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial so therefore the left hand side is going to become x square is already there plus this is going to give us uh, 1600 minus uh, 80x plus uh, x square equals to 832 on the right hand side let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side so we can write down uh, 2 times uh, x square minus uh, 80x plus uh, 1600 equals to 832 let's go ahead and subtract uh, 832 from both sides this is gone so the left hand side is going to become 2x uh, square minus uh, 80x uh, plus uh, 768 uh, equal to 0 and now we can see that this equation is divisible by 2 across the board so let me go ahead and divide each and every term uh, by 2 so therefore we are going to get uh, x square minus uh, 40x plus uh, 384 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using uh, grouping uh, and uh, factoring and now let's focus on this uh, constant 384 that could be broken down to 16 uh, times uh, 24 so therefore we can tweak this middle term uh, negative 40x uh, could be written as uh, negative uh, 16x minus uh, 24x as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, 
negative 40x by negative 16x minus 24x and now we can see between first these two terms x is in common and between last two terms 24 is in common so let's go ahead and factor out x outside so we got x minus 16 let me go ahead and factor out negative 24 over here so we got x minus 16 as well equal to 0 and now we can see x minus 16 is in common so therefore I can write uh, x minus 16 times uh, x minus uh, 24 equal to 0 let me go ahead and separate them I can write uh, x minus 16 equal to 0 and the other factor x minus uh, 24 is going to be 0 as well let's focus on this first equation that is going to give us x equal to positive 16 for this uh, second equation x is going to give us equal to positive 24 and now let's make an observation we can see that x uh, is the side length of this uh, smaller square so therefore we are going to pick uh, this uh, smaller value between these two so therefore x equal to 16 is going to be the side length uh, of this uh, smaller square and this uh, larger value of x equal to 24 is not going to work so therefore the side length uh, of this uh, smaller square x is going to be equal to 16 and now let's make an observation uh, let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle this side length of this uh, triangle is going to be 16 centimeter as well and here I have copied down this uh, yellow triangle uh, over here whose uh, this uh, side length is uh, 16 and this angle is uh, 60 degrees and now let's recall uh, so Cartwa and we are interested in uh, tangent uh, of theta equal to opposite uh, divided by adjacent and in our case uh, our opposite side is 16 and this is our adjacent side so therefore our tangent uh, of uh, 60 degrees is going to be our opposite uh, side is uh, 16 divided by our this uh, adjacent uh, side and we know that tangent of uh, 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 so I'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 so therefore I can write uh, square root of 3 equal to 16 uh, divided by this uh, adjacent side and now if we cross uh, multiply then we can write uh, adjacent side uh, equal to 16 uh, divided by square root of uh, 3 and now let's go ahead and rationalize this uh, denominator by multiplying and dividing by square root of uh, 3 and here at the denominator square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us simply 3 so therefore our adjacent side uh, turns out to be 16 times the uh, square root of 3 all over 3 so thus our this uh, adjacent side turns out to be 16 times the uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times the base uh, times height and in our case our base is uh, this one and our height is uh, 16 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be a half times our base is uh, 16 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 times uh, our height is uh, 16 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 128 uh, times square root of 3 divided by 3 and that is going to be equal to 73.9 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, yellow triangle turns out to be 73.9 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye